Have you ever felt that some days just flow better than others? Like everything falls into place and you're on top of the world? Well, what if I told you this isn't just luck or chance? It's all about your vibration. Yes, you heard that right, your vibration. Now, you might be thinking, what on earth is vibration and how can it change my life? Stick with me, because once you understand this, your whole world could change. Vibration isn't just some new age buzzword. It's the energy you put out into the world. It's how you feel, how you think, and how you act. And here's the kicker. It affects everything around you. Your relationships, your work, your health, everything. But here's the thing. Most people don't even know they can control their vibration. They're stuck on a low frequency without even realizing it. But what if you could raise your vibration? What if you could tap into a higher energy that attracts more positivity, more success, and more happiness into your life? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's very real, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now let's talk about why this matters so much. If you don't learn how to raise your vibration, you might find yourself feeling stuck. You know that feeling when life seems to be moving forward for everyone else, but you're just treading water? That's what happens when your vibration is low. You might feel unhappy, unfulfilled, or just plain tired all the time. It's like you're trying to run a marathon with weights on your ankles. But when you raise your vibration, amazing things start to happen. It's like someone suddenly takes those weights off. You have more energy. You feel happier. Good opportunities seem to find you. People are drawn to your positive energy. Life just feels easier and more enjoyable. Think about it this way. Have you ever met someone who just lights up a room? Someone who seems to attract good things effortlessly? That's what a high vibration looks like. And the best part? You can be that person too. So, are you ready to learn how to raise your vibration and transform your life? Great. Let's dive in and explore the blocks that might be holding you back, starting with one of the biggest culprits, negative thoughts. Let's face it. We all have negative thoughts sometimes. It's part of being human. But when these thoughts take over, they can really drag down your vibration. It's like trying to fly a kite on a stormy day. No matter how hard you try, that kite just won't take off. Negative thoughts are sneaky. They can creep in without you even noticing. Maybe you catch yourself thinking, I'm not good enough or nothing ever works out for me. These thoughts might seem harmless, but they're actually powerful. They shape how you see the world and how you feel about yourself. And when you're constantly putting yourself down or expecting the worst, your vibration takes a nosedive. But here's the good news. You have the power to change these thoughts. It's not always easy, but it's definitely possible. The first step is to become aware of your thoughts. Pay attention to what's going on in your head. When you catch a negative thought, don't beat yourself up about it. Just notice it. Once you're aware of your negative thoughts, you can start to challenge them. Ask yourself, is this thought really true? Is there another way to look at this situation? Often, you'll find that your negative thoughts aren't based on facts at all. They're just old habits or fears playing on repeat in your mind. Here's a simple technique you can try. Whenever you notice a negative thought, try to replace it with a positive one. For example, if you catch yourself thinking, I always mess things up, try changing it to, I'm learning and getting better every day. It might feel a bit forced at first, but with practice, 
it'll become more natural. Another powerful tool is gratitude. When you focus on what you're thankful for, it's hard to stay stuck in negative thinking. Try starting each day by thinking of three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. Maybe you're thankful for your morning coffee or for the sun shining or for a good night's sleep. This simple practice can really shift your mindset and raise your vibration. Remember, changing your thoughts takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself. Every time you catch and change a negative thought, you're making progress. You're training your mind to focus on the positive, and that's going to have a big impact on your vibration. Now, let's move on to the next block that might be holding your vibration down, your diet. What you eat doesn't just affect your body, it affects your energy and your vibration too. But don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to give up all your favorite foods. There are simple changes you can make that can have a big impact on how you feel. You've probably heard the saying, you are what you eat. Well, when it comes to your vibration, this couldn't be more true. The food you put into your body doesn't just affect your physical health. It affects your energy, your mood, and yes, your vibration. Think about how you feel after eating a big, greasy fast food meal. Sure, it might taste good in the moment, but afterwards, you probably feel sluggish and heavy. Maybe you even feel a bit grumpy or irritable. That's because that kind of food lowers your vibration. It's like putting low quality fuel in a high performance car. It just doesn't run as well. On the other hand, when you eat fresh, healthy foods, you probably notice that you feel lighter, more energetic, and more positive. That's because these foods raise your vibration. They give your body the nutrients it needs to function at its best, and that includes maintaining a high vibration. Now, I'm not saying you need to completely overhaul your diet overnight. Small changes can make a big difference. Start by adding more fruits and vegetables to your meals. These foods are packed with vitamins and minerals that boost your energy and your mood. Plus, they're full of water, which helps cleanse your body and raise your vibration. Try to cut back on processed foods, sugary drinks, and excessive caffeine. These things might give you a quick energy boost, but they often lead to a crash later, which can bring your vibration down. Instead, opt for whole grains, lean proteins, and plenty of water. These choices will give you steady energy throughout the day, helping to keep your vibration high. Here's a simple tip. Try starting your day with a glass of water with lemon. This helps to cleanse your body and start your day on a high note. It's a small change, but it can make a big difference in how you feel. Remember, the goal isn't to be perfect. It's about making better choices most of the time. If you enjoy a treat now and then, that's okay. The key is balance. When you fuel your body with good food most of the time, you're giving yourself the best chance to maintain a high vibration. As you start to make these changes, pay attention to how you feel. You might notice that you have more energy, that your mood is more stable, or that you just feel better overall. These are all signs that your vibration is rising. Now, let's move on to the third block that might be holding your vibration down, lack of movement. You might be surprised to learn how much your physical activity, or lack thereof, can affect your energy and your vibration. In our modern world, it's easy to fall into a sedentary lifestyle. Maybe you sit at a desk all day for work, then come home and relax on the couch. While rest is important, too much sitting 
can really bring down your vibration. It's like your energy gets stuck when you're not moving. Think about how you feel after sitting for a long time. You might feel stiff, tired, or even a bit grumpy. That's because lack of movement lowers your vibration. Your body is designed to move, and when it doesn't, your energy can't flow freely. On the flip side, remember how good you feel after a brisk walk or a fun dance session? You probably feel energized, happier, and more alive. That's because movement raises your vibration. It gets your blood flowing, releases feel-good chemicals in your brain, and helps to shift any stagnant energy in your body. Now, I know what you might be thinking. I don't have time to exercise, or I'm not fit enough to work out. But here's the good news. You don't need to become a gym fanatic to benefit from movement. Even small amounts of activity can make a big difference to your vibration. Start with something simple, like a 10-minute walk around your neighborhood, or try some gentle stretching when you wake up in the morning. You could even dance to your favorite song while you're doing housework. The key is to find ways to move that you enjoy. When exercise feels like fun rather than a chore, you're more likely to stick with it. Here's a simple exercise you can try right now. Stand up and take a few deep breaths. Then gently shake out your body, starting with your hands and arms, then your legs, and finally your whole body. This quick shakeout can help to shift stagnant energy and give your vibration a boost if you sit a lot during the day, try to take regular movement breaks. Every hour or so, stand up, stretch, or take a short walk. These little bursts of movement can help keep your energy flowing and your vibration high throughout the day. Remember, any movement is better than no movement. Maybe you can't run a marathon, but you can do some gentle yoga Maybe you can't lift heavy weights, but you can do some body weight exercises at home. The important thing is to find ways to move that work for you and your lifestyle. As you start to incorporate more movement into your day, pay attention to how you feel. You might notice that you have more energy, that you sleep better at night, or that your mood improves. These are all signs that your vibration is rising. Moving your body isn't just about physical fitness. It's about keeping your energy flowing and your vibration high. So find ways to move that you enjoy and make it a regular part of your day. Your body, mind, and vibration will thank you for it. Now that we've covered these three major blocks to raising your vibration, negative thoughts, poor diet, and lack of movement, you're well on your way to understanding how to boost your energy and transform your life. Remember, raising your vibration isn't about being perfect. It's about making small, consistent changes that add up to big results over time. As you work on overcoming these blocks, you might start to notice some changes in your life. Maybe you'll feel more positive and optimistic. Maybe you'll have more energy to pursue your goals. Maybe you'll find that good opportunities seem to come your way more often. These are all signs that your vibration is rising. But don't stop here. There's so much more to learn about raising your vibration. In the next part of our journey, we'll explore more blocks that might be holding you back and I'll share even more practical tips and techniques for boosting your energy and transforming your life. Remember, you have the power to change your vibration and in turn, change your life. It might take some time and effort, but the results are worth it. So keep going, stay positive, and get ready for amazing changes in your life as you continue to raise your vibration. 
Have you ever spent time with someone and felt drained afterwards? Or maybe you have a friend who always seems to bring drama into your life. If so, you might be dealing with toxic relationships and they could be seriously dragging down your vibration. Toxic relationships are like energy vampires. They suck the positivity right out of you. Maybe it's a friend who's always complaining, a family member who criticizes everything you do, or a partner who doesn't support your dreams. Whatever the case, these relationships can have a big impact on your energy and your vibration. When you're constantly surrounded by negativity, it's hard to maintain a high vibration. You might find yourself feeling stressed, anxious, or just plain unhappy. It's like trying to stay dry in the rain without an umbrella. Eventually, that negativity is going to seep in. But here's the thing. You have the power to change this. You can't control other people's behavior, but you can control how you respond to it and what kind of energy you allow in your life. Start by setting boundaries. This might mean limiting the time you spend with certain people or being clear about what kind of behavior you will and won't accept. It's okay to say no to plans that don't feel good to you. It's okay to walk away from conversations that are bringing you down. At the same time, try to surround yourself with positive people. Look for friends who support you, who lift you up, who make you feel good about yourself. These positive relationships can help raise your vibration and counteract the effects of any toxic relationships in your life. Remember, setting boundaries doesn't mean you have to cut people out of your life completely, although in some cases that might be the best option. It's about creating a healthy balance and protecting your energy. As you start to distance yourself from toxic relationships and cultivate more positive ones, you might notice a big shift in your energy. You might feel lighter, happier, and more confident. That's your vibration rising. Now, let's talk about something you might not have considered, your physical environment. Believe it or not, the space around you can have a big impact on your vibration. Think about how you feel when your home is messy and cluttered. Maybe you feel stressed or overwhelmed. Maybe you can't relax because you're always thinking about the cleaning you need to do. This clutter isn't just physical. It creates mental clutter too, and that can really bring down your vibration. On the other hand, when your space is clean and organized, you probably feel calmer and more peaceful. You can relax and focus on the things that matter to you. This clear space helps to create a clear mind, and that's great for raising your vibration. But don't worry, you don't need to become a minimalist overnight. Start small. Maybe you can clear off one surface, like your desk or your kitchen counter. Or you could spend 10 minutes each day decluttering a small area. Over time, these small efforts will add up to big changes. As you're decluttering, pay attention to how you feel about the items around you. Do they bring you joy? Do they serve a purpose? If not, it might be time to let them go. Surrounding yourself with things you love and use can help to raise your vibration. And it's not just about getting rid of things. It's also about creating a space that feels good to you. Maybe that means adding some plants to your home or setting up a cozy reading nook. Maybe it's about letting in more natural light or playing relaxing music. The key is to create an environment that makes you feel good. As you start to declutter and organize your space, you might notice that you feel lighter and more energized. You might find it easier to focus or to relax. These are all signs that your vibration is rising. Now that we've talked about some of the blocks that might be holding your vibration down, 
let's look at a practical exercise you can do every day to give your vibration a boost. This exercise is simple but powerful. It combines gratitude, visualization, and positive affirmations. All things that can help to raise your vibration. Here's how it works. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably and take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Think of three things you're grateful for. They can be big things or small things. Maybe you're grateful for your health, for a good friend, or for the delicious breakfast you had this morning. Really feel that gratitude in your heart. Next, visualize your day going well. See yourself tackling your tasks with ease, having positive interactions with others, and feeling happy and confident. Make this vision as vivid as you can. Finally, say a positive affirmation out loud. It could be something like, I am worthy of love and success, or I choose to focus on the good in my life. Choose an affirmation that feels true and meaningful to you. This whole exercise only takes a few minutes, but it can set a positive tone for your entire day. It helps to shift your focus to the good things in your life, which can really boost your vibration. Try doing this exercise every morning for a week and see how you feel. You might notice that you start your days feeling more positive and energized. You might find it easier to deal with challenges that come up. You might even start attracting more positive experiences into your life. Remember, raising your vibration is a journey, not a destination. There will be ups and downs along the way and that's okay. The important thing is to keep working at it one day at a time. As you continue to overcome these blocks and practice raising your vibration, you might start to notice some amazing changes in your life. You might feel happier and more confident. You might find that good opportunities seem to come your way more often. You might even notice improvements in your relationships or your health. These changes might happen quickly, or they might take some time. Everyone's journey is different. The key is to be patient with yourself and to keep focusing on raising your vibration, no matter what. Remember, you have the power to change your vibration and, in turn, to change your life. It might take some effort, but the results are worth it. So keep going, stay positive, and get ready for some incredible transformations in your life as you continue to raise your vibration. Block number six, negative self-talk. Let's talk about something we all do sometimes, but that can really bring down our vibration, negative self-talk. You know those little voices in your head that say things like, you're not good enough, or you'll never succeed? That's negative self-talk, and it can be a real vibration killer. When you constantly put yourself down or focus on your flaws, you're creating a low vibration environment in your own mind. It's like living in a house where someone is always criticizing you. Not very pleasant, right? But here's the good news. You have the power to change this inner dialogue. Start by becoming aware of your self-talk. When you catch yourself thinking something negative, pause and ask yourself if it's really true. Often you'll find that these thoughts are just old habits or fears, not facts. Try to replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Instead of, I'm not good enough, try I'm doing my best and improving every day. Instead of, I'll never succeed, Try, I have the ability to achieve my goals. Remember, this isn't about ignoring your challenges or pretending everything is perfect. It's about treating yourself with kindness and focusing on your potential rather than your perceived shortcomings. As you start to shift your self-talk, you might notice that you feel more confident and optimistic. 
you might find it easier to take on challenges and pursue your goals. That's your vibration rising. Now, let's talk about something that many of us overlook, our intuition. Your intuition is like your inner compass, guiding you towards what's right for you. But in our busy, logical world, it's easy to ignore this inner voice. When you constantly go against your gut feelings or make decisions that don't feel right to you, you're creating inner conflict. This conflict can really bring down your vibration. It's like trying to swim against the current. It's exhausting and you don't get very far. Learning to listen to and trust your intuition can be a powerful way to raise your vibration. Start by paying attention to how you feel about different situations and decisions. Does something feel right or wrong? Do you feel excited or drained by a particular choice? Practice tuning into these feelings. You might find it helpful to spend some quiet time each day just listening to your inner voice. This could be through meditation, journaling, or simply sitting quietly and reflecting. As you start to honor your intuition more, you might notice that things in your life start to flow more smoothly. You might feel more aligned with your true self and your purpose. This alignment can significantly boost your vibration. Change can be scary, but resisting it can really lower your vibration. When you cling to old habits, situations, or beliefs that no longer serve you, you're blocking the flow of new, positive energy into your life. Think about a time when you resisted a change that ended up being good for you. Maybe you were nervous about starting a new job, but it turned out to be a great opportunity. Or maybe you were hesitant to end a relationship, but doing so allowed you to grow and find happiness. Embracing change doesn't mean you have to constantly shake up your life. It's about being open to new possibilities and willing to let go of what no longer serves you. This openness allows fresh, high vibration energy to flow into your life. Start small. Maybe try a new food, take a different route to work, or learn a new skill. As you become more comfortable with small changes, you'll find it easier to embrace bigger ones. Remember, change is a natural part of life. When you learn to flow with it rather than resist it, you'll find that your vibration naturally rises. In our busy lives, it's easy to put everyone and everything else first, but neglecting self-care can really bring down your vibration. When you're constantly running on empty, it's hard to maintain high energy and positivity. Self-care isn't selfish. It's necessary. It's about taking care of your physical, emotional, and spiritual needs so that you can show up as your best self in the world. This could mean different things for different people. Maybe it's taking a relaxing bath, reading a good book, or spending time in nature. Maybe it's saying no to commitments that drain you or setting aside time for a hobby you love. Whatever self-care looks like for you, make it a priority. Schedule it into your day like you would any other important appointment. As you start to take better care of yourself, you might notice that you have more energy, more patience, and a more positive outlook. That's your vibration rising. Our final block is something that can really weigh down your vibration, holding on to past hurts. When you carry around old grudges, resentments, or painful memories, it's like walking around with a heavy backpack. It drags down your energy and keeps you stuck in low vibration emotions. Letting go of past hurts doesn't mean forgetting what happened or saying it was okay. It means releasing the emotional charge around these events so that they no longer have power over you. This process can take time and might require some deep inner work. 
you might find it helpful to journal about your feelings, talk to a trusted friend or therapist, or practice forgiveness exercises. As you start to release these old hurts, you might feel a sense of lightness and freedom. You might find it easier to live in the present moment and to open yourself up to new, positive experiences. This release can significantly raise your vibration. Congratulations. You've now learned about 10 major blocks that could be holding down your vibration and how to overcome them. Remember, raising your vibration is a journey, not a destination. It's about making small, consistent changes in your thoughts, habits, and lifestyle. As you work on overcoming these blocks, be patient and kind with yourself. Change takes time, and it's okay to have ups and downs along the way. The important thing is to keep moving forward, always aiming to raise your vibration. You might start to notice some amazing changes in your life as your vibration rises. You might feel happier, more energetic, and more at peace. You might find that good opportunities seem to come your way more often. You might even notice improvements in your relationships and your overall well-being. Remember, you have the power to change your vibration and in turn to change your life. It might take some effort, but the results are truly incredible. So keep going, stay positive, and get ready for some amazing transformations in your life as you continue to raise your vibration. Thank you for joining me on this journey of discovery and growth. Here's to your higher vibration and all the wonderful things it will bring into your life.